In this video, you're going to learn how to fund your own account with Interactive Brokers through the online web portal, through the Trader Workstation on your desktop, and through the mobile app. And at the end of the video, you're going to learn the account deposit minimum that you have to have when getting things started. Starting first with the web portal option, you go to interactivebrokers.ca or .com, depending on where you're trading, log in through the portal like you normally would to get into your account. It's going to look something like this. Log into your live account. Make sure it is live. It's not the paper account. We want to fund your live account. You can't actually fund a paper account here. So put in your username, put in your password, log in. You may have to do the two-factor authentication with your phone. Just click the little notification that appears on your phone. If you've linked, if it's not, you might get a text message or something. Just log in like you normally would. Once you've logged in, the main screen is going to show a bunch of different options at the top row. You want transfer and pay, and you want transfer funds. And also, don't worry if your screen is white. Mine just in dark mode. I prefer the dark mode for my trading. Go to transfer funds, click there, and it's going to pop open this new area where you can either make a deposit, make a withdrawal, or transfer funds between different trading accounts. You obviously want to do make a deposit. You click that option right there. It's going to take you to a new screen, and it's going to say, number one, the currency that you want to deposit, you can use a little drop-down arrow and pick Canadian dollars, USD, whatever you want to trade in. You can click it from this little drop-down box. And then you have a couple different options for funding your account. You have an EFT, which is a one-time setup for connecting your bank. And you can just deposit right from your bank and connect there. If you want to do that, you go ahead. You have the initial deposit plus the subsequent deposit trading times. And it has the different information there as well for your limits on how much you can transfer in different time periods. You're also going to have options for a bank wire and an online bill pay. And this is the one that I use for my training. And I find it the most convenient because it's just like paying a bill for anything else in your life. You just connect it to your bank account. You add interactive brokers as the payee. And you do that through getting the instructions tab right there. It'll tell you exactly what interactive brokers number is for the account. It'll give you what you have to copy over to your bank. And it's going to be an easy, quick setup for you. Get instructions, get that set up. Once it is set up, there's one more thing you have to do to make sure that you do this right and that is follow the steps that Interactive Brokers provides. Always notify them as well before you make it a deposit, before you transfer the funds. They need to know that money's coming into your account. Your funds can take a few hours to a few days to appear. It's not an instantaneous process. You have to give it some time. Depending on the method that you choose to transfer, it will depend on how much this actually takes. When I do the online bill pay, it usually takes one or two days for the money to get in your account, and after that, you're good to go. This is what the notification page looks like on Interactive Brokers. You wanna make sure that you're using the set amount here where you're transferring from, the account that you set up, and you're going to deposit the amount, this amount here, you fill this in, you can choose to make it a recurring transaction or not. Normally, I just leave it as a one-time deal. If you're gonna make this an automatic kind of thing, you can click that and it'll, it'll just keep the transaction going every week or every two weeks or every, how much you wanna set it up. So you put the amount there, you wanna deposit, and then you get more instructions and you submit it, but you're gonna submit this to Interactive Brokers. If you're gonna deposit $10,000, let's say, you wanna put in $10,000 here so that they know then expect that $10,000 is coming to your account. If you do this step, you're allowing Interactive Brokers the heads up, let's say, of money coming into your account. So it'll make the transition process quicker. It'll make the funds available to you quicker as well. If you don't do this, they're gonna see money show up. They're gonna be like, where is this coming from? Why is this here? They're gonna have to start maybe asking questions and kind of prodding you a little bit for more information on when this is happening. It could take a little bit longer to get the money uh, unfrozen and unlocked for you to trade with. From the Interactive Brokers mobile app, it's the same kind of process. You wanna go to your portfolio. You want to drop down on the left-hand side and look at transfer and pay. You want to do deposit funds, just like we did with the online web portal. And you want to select the currency again. You want to either do the EFT or you have the same options for a bank wire or an online bill pay. You can, again, it'll give you the instructions. It'll give you the timelines. It'll give you the fees if there's any fees associated with it. And it's pretty straightforward. Just follow the step that they provide, go through the instructions, Take a little bit of time to do it for the first time, and then you'll have it down no problem as you go through. And if you're in the Trader Workstation on the desktop, even if you're in your paper account, you can click over here to your account. You can click on Funds Transfer. It's going to pop open a new window for you. And we are back to the main Interactive Brokers page where you can make a deposit, make a withdrawal, transfer funds between accounts. And this goes back to the same steps I showed earlier. It's the exact same process that the Trader Workstation is going to kick you to, just going to kick you into the web portal. You do go from there. And the big thing that most people want to know is how much do I have to put into my account? They used to have a $10,000 initial deposit for interactive brokers. They have since changed that. I don't know if this is to do with the increased amount of trading after 2019 and kind of during the pandemic, 2020, 2021. But now the account, regular account minimum is $2,000 to open your account. You can put in $2,000. This will also be available to you once you have market data subscriptions. You'll be able to fund your account 
put that money in, it'll start paying for your market data, you'll start being able to trade with it and you'll be up and running in no time. If you wanna know how to set up market data for your account, make sure you watch this next video, like and subscribe if you got some value here today and I will catch you guys on the next one.